We're rolling. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you? <laughs> I'm not the one jumping. Come on, Jen. You don't know what you're missing. That's OK, Tommy. I'll let you play Superman. the smell of adrenaline in the morning. Guys, what's up? Hey, man, how are you? Great. Fruit Loop. <laughs> Mind if I do? Ready to jump? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Yeah, oh, dude, not so tight. You don't want to splat, do you? <laughs> hey, it's only death. The closer the brush, the bigger the rush. So how was I? Well, it's nothing new. There's, there's got to be more in being alive than just jumping off bridges. You got to try it yourself, Jen. The, the rush is unbelievable. That's not what I'm talking about. Do you see that jump? You're not listening to me. Yeah, you want bigger thrills. Maybe next time I'll hang glide off the Empire State Building. <laughs> not bigger, Tommy. Just different. We spent our whole summer doing this, and it's fun. It's just... It's all getting to be the same. What do you want me to do? Jump without a rope? Tommy! Tommy! Why'd you do that? Come on, Jen, that's why you love me. Come on, we can still catch the tram up to the campsite. Have you seen the coat hangers? Say what? What is this? Security. But don't worry about it, it's not loaded. Have you seen the hangers? Way ahead of you. I can't remember the last time I went camping. What about your family? Oh, no. I mean, we had a couple summers up at the cabin, but that was it. Nothing big. Not like Yosemite or Grand Canyon. My dad hardly ever took a vacation. The biggest thing I ever did was hitchhike to Mardi Gras. Rest is only rest after hard work. What? He never did take a break. I remember when I was a freshman in high school, 
He made me get a summer job and research colleges. I never got to just hang out and have fun. Like I love gymnastics, but he wouldn't let me compete unless I got straight A's. I put a price on everything, try and teach us how to work hard. No wonder your sister's a little misrighteous. Alicia marched right in line. Daddy's perfect girl. That explains why she's getting a divorce. Chuck never could measure up. You know, he just wasn't dad. There was this one time when a bunch of girls and I were having a slumber party over at this girl's house and we were gonna wait until our parents fell asleep, you know, and sneak out, go into the city, go dancing. And this girl had made fake IDs for everyone. And when it came time to go, I chickened out. I let them go without me. I was afraid of what my dad would say if he found out I broke one of his rules. Little Miss Perfect. They had a blast. When's the last time you did something really bad? Never. Would you go now? In a heartbeat. Oh, no, 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 wait. Oh, I hate it when they burn. Ugh. Can I have another marshmallow? Tommy! Oh, Peg! Truce! I win! Truce! I win! All right, all right. Okay. All right. I promise you'll never leave me. Why would I want to? Everyone else has. I promise. You never have to worry about rules with me. The only thing I want to do with the rules is break them. Make a hell of a team. What's next? Whatever you want. Let's get married. Whoa, Jen, wait a minute. No, come on, I'm serious. We can make it to Vegas by sundown. Vegas? Look, Jen, you said you wanted a big wedding. Yeah, but wouldn't it be exciting? Eloping. Oh, I thought you had enough excitement in your life. Come on, let's get something to drink. Tommy has just plummeted to his death with a mere rubber band tied to his ankle. And I let him jump. I can't believe I let him jump. But he lived. So what do you say? I say we try something new. Oh, like what? Come on. Mini Mart, take one. You know the drill. No one gets cute and no one gets killed. Do you know the most dangerous job in America is working at a convenience store? Huh? Did you know that? Just take whatever you want. Got any fruit loops? Um, over there. Jen. Oh, thanks, baby. This is great. Wait, Jen, Jen, great. Jen, we gotta go, Jen. Jen. Jen, come on, let's go!
wasting my time? Excuse me, sir? Did you even take 30 seconds to look at that tape before you gave it to me? Is this your idea of a big case? What more do you want, sir? You got him on tape? Let me show you the difference between a big case and what you have here. Okay, we got your standard issue convenience store. And here are the big criminals. Is this a joke? No, sir. If you look at All the guy took was a box of Fruit Loops? Yeah, but what about the gun? What about the gun? Some pea shooter from a pawn shop? 20 to 1, it wasn't even loaded. No, sir. If you look at the gun... Now listen to me, partner. I've got a backlog of gang banging, crack smoking, carjacking assholes out there. I don't have the time for piss at five and dimers. Call me when somebody's dead. You know Mac wouldn't see a train if it steamed right up his ass. What the hell's that supposed to mean? He looks at this tape and he sees nothing. But you see... A preview of coming attractions. Have a nice evening, fellas. Thanks a lot. Okay, you see once more with feelings. Okay, you rolling? Action. I'm sorry, there's no filming in here. You'll have to put the camera away. <laughs> so how you doing tonight? Miss, I'm gonna have to ask you to put the camera away. Could you just wave once? There is no filming in the store. I, I don't see any signs. <laughs> Come on, it's a great shot. Just put it away. What if she doesn't want it? Hey man, I don't want no trouble. I'd say you found it anyway. Okay, I want everybody down on the floor! Ah! Now! Ah! See, we're gonna play a little game of show and tell. You're gonna show me where the safe is, and uh, I'm gonna tell you to empty it. Oh, shoot. What? I ran out of tape. You what? Well, hold on, it'll just take a second. Come on, Jen. Well, why don't you give him my last name while you're at it? Don't move! Okay. Okay, we're rolling. Okay, uh, look, just just forget the safe. Open the drawer. Do it now! Mike, where'd you put the extra slip book? Hold it right there! Oh. How's it feel? Huh? Come on, Pops. That, that gun ain't loaded. It is now. Bobby, call the cops. Now, if you don't want me to make a mess out of you in front of all these people, I suggest that you put that gun down right now. Take it easy, man. We, we were just trying to have some fun. Well, looks like the joke's on you, ain't it, boy? Come on, Jen, let's go. This one's for free, boy. The next time you come in here, I'll blow your head off. I can't believe I backed down from that guy. Oh, come on, Tommy. He had a gun. <laughs> look at you. You look like you own the place. Jeez, can you stand something for more in a second? No, no, that's the style. Yeah. Oh, okay, next time you hold the camera and I'll wave look, the gun. Jen, be careful with that. Why? It's not loaded. Yes, it is. That's probably not a good idea. I wonder what Alicia would think. Why the hell do you care what she thinks? I gotta take you out shooting sometime. I've shot guns before. When? My dad had a whole collection of guns up at the cabin. <laughs> he had this one hunting rifle that he never wanted anyone to touch. Yeah, because he was afraid you'd take it out and hunt your sister down. No, no, but I did take it. I took it down to the dock to shoot it over the water, and I missed. And I shot the boathouse. 
Oh, my shoulder was bruised for a month. But your dad was pissed, too. No, he never found out. Alicia did, but she never said anything. Yeah, because she was afraid you'd shoot her. Come on, we aren't that bad. Oh, yeah? When's the last time you talked to her? M my party, I guess. Well, you were there. That's when she gave us the camera. Now, she gave you the camera. The only thing she gave me was attitude. Hey. Look, Jen, let's just forget about your sister. The only thing that matters is you and me. I think you deserve a vacation. <laughs> I don't see any signs. <laughs> Come on, it's a great shot. Just put it away. What if she doesn't want it? Looks like they're just in it for laughs. Maybe laughing right up to the point where he gets his head blown off. Hey, what's on the beginning of this tape? The Mini Mart manager said they drove off in an old Mustang convertible. I'll have DMV run a check. Maybe they can come up with a name. It's got to be a million older model Mustangs. I'll find it. Hey, you got a tape in it this time, Jen? Oh, very funny. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Um, you'll steal candy from little kids. <laughs> How's that sound? Yeah, that sounds pretty irresponsible. Oh, well, that's me. Mr. Irresponsibility. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Back it up. Right there. One one eight one zero stallion court. Time for a warrant. <laughs> Nobody home, you see anything? Ah! What's up? Come on, Spitz. Pointer, you have got to relax. Something's going on. Yeah. Sounds like a party. For Tommy. He ain't here, man. Do you know where we might be able to find him? What'd you do? Well, we just like to ask him some questions. It's probably out with Jennifer. Does she have a last name? What, you gonna bust him for something? You mind if we take a look around? Go ahead. It's his room back there. She's been living with him for a while, but uh, I don't know, we don't ever see him. They pretty much do their own thing. Do you know if she has any friends or any relatives in the area that might know where they are? She's got a sister that came around looking for her once, but uh, I don't think they get along too well. If you can think of anything else, we'd like you to give us a call. Now, you are aware of the consequences of aiding and abetting. Spitz! They've got enough video here to start their own TV series. I'm not going to talk about this anymore until those papers are signed. I've had time to get by. Well, I don't care, Chuck. I'll put my lawyer on it. Oh, he'd love that. That bastard would bill us for every hour on the hour. No! I think I have a right to get on with my life without having to draw this out.
Chuck, hold on a second, okay? Chuck? Wait! Oh, you son of a bitch! Miss Parker? You must be Detective Pointer. Well, no, I'm Spitz. I'm Detective Pointer. We spoke on the phone? Please, come in. You will excuse the house. I just got home from work. I was just making myself a cup of coffee. Can I offer you one? Fine. I'd like some herbal tea. So, what kind of trouble is she in now? Well, Miss Parker, this might come as a shock to you. Don't bet on it. Your sister's been involved in a string of armed robberies. What? This is taken from a security video at one of the stores. Recognize the girl? She's only there because of him. What do you know about him? Not much, really, except he's no good for her. Jennifer talked a lot about him, but I only met him once. She was having her birthday party in a nightclub downtown. Well, look who's here. Hey, Jen. What's this, another toy? Must be hard spending all Chuck's money. It's for you. Happy birthday. I don't want your expensive gifts. I'm surprised you even showed up. I was surprised you invited me. Oh, well, I want you to meet my new boyfriend. You'll like him. He's a bad influence. Jennifer. Tommy, come here. Come here. I want you to meet someone. This is my sister. Oh, so this is the famous Alicia. How's it going? I'm gonna get something to drink. Here. I've heard a lot about you. I'm sure you have. You having fun with my sister? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, she's finally getting to live a little. You call dropping out of college living? It's what she wanted to do. She doesn't know what she wants to do. Why don't you lighten up? Now she's had to deal with your parents' death just as much as you have. So don't treat her like your dad did. Is that what she told you? Look, I'm just trying to make sure she doesn't get hurt anymore than she already has. Tell her to call me when she sobers up. It's my birthday, Alicia. Do you think you could save the lecture? I just can't believe you'd throw away your life to be with a guy like that. Are you gonna marry him? Oh, and end up divorced like you and Chuck? No, thank you. You are unbelievable. It's a good thing Mom and Dad aren't here to see this. What is it with you? They have been dead for six months. Stop trying to give me a guilt trip for getting on with my life. Lay off. Anyway, that's the last I've heard from her. She doesn't return my phone calls or my letters. Well, if you do hear from her, we'd like you to give us a call. He's always been bad news. I'm sure she'll realize that as soon as she sees how serious this is. This is good. So what changed your mind? About what? About getting married. Just seems right. <laughs> I can't wait. Nervous? No, I'm not nervous. Can we be serious for a second? Why? We're getting married. How are we doing on money? Don't worry about it. 
You can always get more. Oh, really? What, rob a bank? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, great. Come on, I'm just kidding. Lighten up. I just don't want our luck to run out. Yeah, luck runs out when your nerve does. <laughs> well, I guess you're the luckiest man alive. Shit! Damn it. Stay in the car. So what's wrong? Look, how the hell am I supposed to know? Lighten up. Great. How you doing? Do you guys need some help? Yeah, I think we blew something. Well, I guess I could give you guys a lift into town to a mechanic or something. That would be great. Hold on just a sec. Sure, sure. Tommy, come on, we gotta ride. Ain't you a sight. Hi. Do you think you could help us out? Our car broke down a little ways up the road. Sorry to hear that, pretty lady. Well, do you think you could take a look at it for us? My time ain't cheap. And of course, there's my storage fee, seeing as how I'm tapped for space. We don't, we don't have a lot of money. Well, then I just might not be able to find the time to help you, princess. That is, unless, of course, you could think of some other way to pay me. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Relax, hot shot. I'm just negotiating. I'll bet that fancy video camera of yours could get your car in here. You know, it's greedy sons of bitches like you that give Free Enterprise a bad name. Is that right? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, you ain't exactly in a position to bargain here, boy. So don't you be pissing me off. I'll leave your ass high and dry. Will you now? Jen, why don't you roll some tape? This might get interesting. Okay, you rolling? Yep. All right, a car just broke down, and well, just when we thought we found a nice guy to help us out, Mr. Goodwrench over here decides to cop tood and be an asshole about the situation. For that, the price of fixing your car just doubled. You can't do that. Just did, honey. You best be telling this boyfriend of yours to quit while he's ahead. <laughs> Keep taping, Jen. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But I'll tell you what. I'll give you the chance to make up for it by giving us the keys to that Jeep over there. I'll give you the chance to shut that smart-ass mouth of yours before I shut it for you. Not a good idea. Oh, shit. 
Hey, hey I, I didn't mean it. Drop it! How's it feel? You be cool, man. Where are the keys? Where are they? Hand them over. Carefully! All right, asshole. I heard that. Take him, you rat bastard! Now shut it down and step out of there. I mean it. Stay in the car, Jen. Keep rolling the tape. This ain't over yet. This isn't funny anymore. Do it! Two can play at this game, old timer. Why don't you just get out of the way? Not likely, son. You ain't gonna shoot me. Why's that? Because you don't want to mess up your teeth. Hell, I can pay a kid $3.50 an hour to wash these cars. Won't take him five bucks worth to wipe up your ass. Now put the gun down! What's to say I don't shoot you? You ain't got the guts for murder, boy. Tommy, come on. Better listen to her. He shut up! I'll give you a three count, boy, and that's it. Let it go. It's not worth it. Stay out of this, Jen. One! Oh, yeah? Just stop it! Two! Come on! Tommy, don't be stupid! Last chance, asshole! <laughs> SDF News Time 11:38. A Nevada man was shot and killed today in an auto wrecking yard outside of Las Vegas. Nevada State Police report that a black jeep impounded in the yard is missing. They are saying the suspects are considered armed. Coming in. Damn it! Why did he have to pick up the gun? All right, we're gonna have to get a new car. We're gonna have to change the license plates at least. We're gonna have to do something. Your hands. Let me see them. Shit. Come on. I figure we can make Mexico. Hell, everybody goes to Mexico. We can think of something better than that. Maybe Paris. Or, or how about Milan? You know, I'm, I hear that for every pub in London, there's a bank in Milan. I can't. What? I can't run, Tommy. The hell you can't. We have to. Guy had it coming. That's not true. Shut up! Damn it, you're confusing me. I gotta think of something. Tommy, you're hurting me. We just gotta stick together, you know? I mean, we'll think of something. Tommy, stop it! No, I'm 
one was ever supposed to get hurt. I need you, Jen. What's wrong with you? I'm gonna take a shower. Look at it this way, Jen. At least now we'll have time for a honeymoon. Jen? I'm gonna grab something to eat. Winner. Yeah, no shit. Shit, yeah, 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 we know him. We know him. All right. I'll fax his file in the morning. Thanks. Okay, Mac, let's wake up, huh? Hello? Mac? Pointer. This better be good. Yeah, I hate to tell you I told you so.
Somebody's dead. What the hell's going on? Uh, name's Tommy Slater, sir. It's the same kid we've been seeing in the videotapes. The girl's sister confirmed them both. What's all this? Girlfriend's home videos. Whole season of crazy stuff, including armed robbery. CHP found our boy's car 20 miles away from the murder site. Yeah, bet they hitched a ride. Yeah, beyond that, there's a Jeep missing from the impound yard. I guess he didn't expect to be confronted. We got an APB out for the Jeep, and we've got his place staked out. This guy, he's ours. You think he's stupid enough to go home? Well, I'd like to put a team at the sister's house. Why is that? The girl's sister thinks she's just tagging along for the thrill. Once it gets out of hand, she's gonna bail. It was a Nevada murder corner. It's a Nevada case. Oh, it's my case, sir. I don't want you wasting any more of my time, my men, or my money. Fine. I'll stake it out myself. This is crazy. She would never kill anybody. She may not have seen it coming. Anyway, we're going to sign a surveillance team to your house. We like to keep all our bases covered. You are aware of the consequences of aiding and abetting. She's not a criminal. Hello? Alicia, it's Jennifer. Jen, are you okay? I don't know. I don't know. Jen, I know what happened. Where are you? I don't know. Um, a motel room in, I don't know, Nevada or California somewhere. I don't know. It was dark. Are you hurt? Where's Tommy? I left. I just took the tape and I left. Jen. They think you're an accomplice. I don't. I don't know what to do. I need to go someplace where I can think. Well, you can't come here. Alicia, I don't have anywhere else to go. Well, the police are watching the house. What about the cabin? Can you make it there? Tahoe? Listen, Jen, I'll meet you there. Can you make it? I guess. I'll get there as soon as I can. I just have to get past the police. OK. I'm leaving now. Jen? Yeah. I'll see you soon. I just needed some time to think. 
quit thinking about ratting on me, Warrior. We're supposed to get married today. I'm serious about this, Tommy. So am I. We need each other. Ma'am, will you shut off your motor? What's the problem, officer? To start with, you have no license plates. Will you explain that, please? I'm kind of in a hurry. Obviously. Well, they're taking my sister to the hospital. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but may I have your license and registration to turn your motor off, please? Ma'am? Huh? Your license and registration. Officer, there's somebody coming. It's a highway. What do you expect? Where are you going? I've been trying to follow you for the last 20 miles. You know you missed the exit 10 minutes ago. We're getting married. You told me you were going to see your sister. Sister? All right, you two, you stay right here. I need backup unit right now. Hello? Hello? Well, Max, all right. Just gotta find a soft spot. I just hate being treated like an idiot. Yeah, it just means he likes you. You know that guy's gonna snap any day now. Why are you always eating that stuff? Hmm? What are you, a frickin' rabbit? No, I, I like it. It makes me healthy. It keeps me healthy, you know? And you better lay off those donuts and the cookies and the crackers and all the other crap for you. you know, that junk food is not good for you. That fat and sugar is gonna mess up your complexion. 
Spitz. Uh, well, yeah, hold on. He's got it right here. Well, I don't know if I can do that. Hello? Miss Parker, this is Detective Pointer. Yes, Detective. Uh, we're going to wrap it up for today. Well, fine by me. I don't sign your checks. If uh, anything should happen, you've got our number. Right. Jen. What makes you think I know where she is? Last I heard, you two were running off to get married or something. I don't know, I'll call it a hunch. You know, maybe intuition. Maybe because she's your sister. So she hasn't called you or nothing. I haven't heard from her in months. I find that hard to believe. Are you two in some kind of trouble? <laughs> it's nothing we can't handle. I just really need to talk to her. Can I get you something to drink? Got any Fruit Loops? I think she got cold feet. I can't say I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> I think you and I just need to spend a little bit more time together. We've actually got a lot in common. What the hell are you doing? Turn it around. <laughs> just relax. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. You know, I was watching you this morning. I was watching you all day. Like stunning in that little uh, purple night eaters. Of course, I was a little bit jealous of those cops out there. Because they had binoculars. And I did it. <laughs> Sit down! It's good. So you gotta understand, I just. I just need some information from you. I just want to know who your sister's at. You tell me that, and we got no problems. Hi, it's Alicia. I'm not home, so please leave a message, and I'll call you back. Alicia, it's Jen. I'm on my way to the cabin right now. I'm so glad you're coming. I can't, I can't seem to get his face out of my mind. Um, well, I, I guess I'll see you there. Well, look at what we have here. Get in the car.
All right, Mac, here's your damn reports. Now get off my back. Fitz, pointer. Something's wrong. What? Parker woman is not answering her phone. It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm telling you, there's something wrong. Get dressed, we're going over there. She's not here. Well, we're not sure quite how long. But we've got prints all over the house, so get a lab team out here as soon as you can. Well, we've got, yeah, we've got forcible entry through the sliding glass rear door oh, here. Oh, here comes, uh, here comes the captain. Hold on. How the hell you explain the fact that he walked in right under your nose? We got prints all over the place. He was here. Jack now. Eighty three forty five makes fake. Come on, Spitz, let's go. I got a plane waiting for us at the airport. It's gonna take us right to the lake. Okay, I'll meet you out front. Just give me two seconds.
Uh, this is Unit 1 to HQ. Do you copy? This is HQ, Jack. Go ahead. Henry, you show anybody coming up to the Parker place? That's uh, 8435 Bay Road. You got me a Jack. I'd have to check with the real the office. What's up? Yeah, well, there's a black Jeep in the driveway that I've never seen before. Could be the owners. Nah, they haven't been here in ages. Yeah, we got a problem there. Doesn't seem to have any plates. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go check it out. Be right back. Yeah, 10-4, Jack. Okay, thinks he's on to something. Again? Hi there. Hi. Uh, I don't mean to bother you, miss, but uh, we don't show anybody coming into this cabin this week. Oh, my folks are... Uh, well, they... This is my family's cabin. I'm Jennifer Parker. You're Jennifer? No kidding. I remember you when you were just... <laughs> is this your Jeep? Yep. I just wanted to get away for a few days. Are you in some kind of trouble? Why? Well, your Jeep doesn't have any license plates. Oh, I just got it. Oh, well, enjoy your stay then. And if there's anything we can do for you, just give us a call. Thanks, I will. Okay. Henry, come back. Henry, go. You got a girl in the cabin who says she's the daughter of the owners. She says you just bought the Jeep, which explains the plates. But there's something funny going on here. Well, look, I want you to run the VIN anyway, okay? E7FH361557. Okay, Jack, give me a couple of minutes. Henry, we just got a call from the Sheriff's Department. They're on their way up here to look for a murder suspect. Jack, you better be careful up there. That Jeep you're looking at, it's stolen. Stolen? That's right, and whoever's driving already killed two people, including a cop. Henry? I got someone approaching the cabin on foot. White male, about six feet tall, late twenties. I'm gonna go talk to him. Jack, hang tight. I'm calling in backup. Jack. Jack. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I have a word with you? Sure. What's your name? John. John what? Turner, sir. <clears throat> Is this your cabin, John? <laughs> no, sir. I was just looking for somebody. You wouldn't know who drives this Jeep, would you? No. Actually, I'm not from around here. Really? Where are you from? Seattle. 
What's this all about? Well, we've had some burglaries in this neighborhood, and we're just trying to find out who's responsible. Well, what does it have to do with me? Who is that? Damn! Hey! Hey! Get over there! Henry! 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 Come back, this is Jack. What's going on here? Who is that guy? No, we can't let him get away. Henry, I think I've got your suspect, but he's got a hot making off in the blue, Jimmy. It's out on Crescent. You're never going to get away with this. There they are, there they are. That's them. How'd you get mixed up with this guy? We have a lot in common. Back up on the way. Come on, you're not making the city easier. You're the bright one in the family, aren't you? No! <laughs> Alicia! Alicia! You hear that? The girl's coming back to me. No, you don't! Sit down! Come on, Jen. Where are you? Come on, Jen.
Heart sit. Stay. You up. On your knees. Come on. I want your hands behind your back. Now, punk. Now I'm done fooling around with you. Move it. Show me how those handcuffs work. Come on. Do it. Now the other one. No ranger. Got guts. I like that. <laughs> Gentleman from Los Angeles. This is Detective Pointer. How you doing? Uh, and Detective Spitz. Ranger. You guys got here just in time. Henry, this is Dwayne. We're on Old Mine Road. We've got Jack. He's been beating pretty bad. He says the guy took his truck. He might be heading back to the cabin. 10-4, Dwayne. I got LAPD here. We're heading up there right now. Meet us as soon as you can. Let's go. Let's get out of here. and then we'll go. What are you doing? Calling the police. No, no. What? I can't. Tommy's not gonna give up. The ranger can handle him. Damn it, Jen, he's already killed two people. How can you stand there and defend him? He's just screwed up. But he just wants things to be normal again. Jen, things were never normal. Forget about Tommy. You can still get out of this. I can't. Why not? I was there. Jennifer, you didn't pull the trigger. I thought you came up here to help me. Well, what do you want me to do? Drive you to Mexico? Say, it's okay, Jen. Everything's gonna be all right. I didn't know anything about it! Jennifer! Don't condescend to me. It's just like you. Having it all together. Never getting in any trouble. Never messing up. Little Miss Perfect. Is that what you think? That's ironic, isn't it? We wouldn't even be here talking now if it weren't for him. Yeah. 
weird. Silver lining, huh? Hell of a cloud. Jennifer! Give it up, Tommy! Could you come in here a second? What did you do to the ranger, Tommy? What did I do to him? He was the one that was trying to hurt me! Wait! That depends on you. Still got that tape? Why did you have to kill him? Self-defense! He was gonna shoot us! And the cop? Come on, Jen. And you can't keep blaming me for everything. You're in this thing, too. What's it look like? They're facing off on the balcony. Let's go get them. No, we can't go down in front. It's too risky. What about covering from the back? It's pretty steep going down to the water, but it might be our only chance to cover them. I'm gonna take position on the dock. I'm gonna cover the south side of the cabin. I'm with you. We'll take the north. Gotcha. I'll just stay up here in case he decides to make a break for it. What do you want? I'm gonna burn that little home movie of yours and drive out of here. Together? Yeah. We'd still make a great team. There's no way, Tommy. You'll go to jail, Jen. It's over. It'll never be over. Wake up, Tommy! It was just about being alive for me, you know? Just trying to wake up. All this time I think I'm trying to live, and I'm not. You don't have to try to just live. You have to try to be alive. And I'm not alive, Tommy, and neither are you. Maybe loving you is just another attempt at being alive. Just another push for a rush. I can't love you anymore. You can't just turn it off. I didn't. You didn't. How can you act like we never had any? Leave her alone, you bastard! You shut up! She's not going down with you! Shut up! You tell your sister if she says another word, I'm gonna blow her head off! Put it down! I'm down at the dock. I've got the best position down here. I want everybody to hold where they are. I need a SWAT team and air support immediately. I'm on it. Hell of a mess we're in now, hey, babe? It's not my fault. No? Who was it that kept rolling the videotape and laughing about it when we got it home? Who was it that kept saying, go ahead, Tommy. It'll be a great shot. Who was it, huh, Jen? It's not the same as killing somebody. It's exactly the same, because you were there. You're right. Right. What are we going to do? You're on your own. What are you doing to me? No! Police, put the gun down! No! Thank <laughs> you.
Come on, Jen. Wake up.